Today we're touring the incredible homes of supermodel Heidi Klum from her Mediterranean mansion in Brentwood to her Bel Air mega palace. But first, we'll see how Heidi made it all the way to the top. Heidi was born on June 1st, 1973 and grew up in a small German town. Her mom was a hairdresser and her dad worked for a cosmetics company. Little Heidi was a natural born performer, obsessing with dancing and modeling as a kid. She would even make her dolls walk the runway in homemade fashion shows. At 18, Heidi won a national modeling contest called Model 92. She scored a 300K contract with Metropolitan Models in New York City. But Heidi was dedicated to finishing finishing high school first. After graduating, then it was off to the Big Apple to start her modeling career. Heidi started running out an apartment with other models in New York City. She went to castings all day, but kept getting rejected for being too curvy or too happy. She told Forbes, the thinner you were or the more you were hanging around in poses, the better it was. I cried a few nights a week, but I didn't want to become a failure. Finally, Heidi got her big break covering Mirabella magazine. This led to poses for Elle, Marie Claire, Vogue, and more. Her career was seriously picking up. Then Heidi signed a three-year deal with Victoria's Secret and walked her first fashion show. This cemented her status as a supermodel. Over the next 13 years, Heidi started her stuff in their world-famous fashion shows. She looked killer in those wings and fab lingerie. Even though she left Victoria's Secret in 2010, Heidi says, I will always love Victoria's Secret and will always love seeing her slay that runway. Now, this was a total game changer. Heidi landed the coveted Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover in 1998. This sent Heidi's career into hyperdrive. She racked up over 150 magazine covers and became the face of brands like McDonald's and Jordache. Her career was really heating up, but that's not all Heidi had cooking. With her modeling career in full swing, Heidi started going into acting. She landed small roles on Spin City, Sex in the City, and movies like Blow Dry. But her the biggest on-screen moment was being cast as the villainous in Ella Enchanted in 2004. Heidi looked fabulous but totally wicked in that movie. A few more fun film roles followed, but it was time for Heidi to sink her teeth into something new. Heidi's next big break came in 2004 as host and producer of Project Runway. Heidi started as host for 16 seasons showing off her knowledge of fashion and her fabulous personality. She looked so chic on that runway. If TV fashion wasn't enough in 2013, Heidi joined the judges panel on America's Got Talent. Heidi further began hosting and producing Germany's Next Top Model. She slayed the runway as host for 18 cycles and counting. And we can't talk Heidi without mentioning her legendary Halloween bashes. Heidi hosts a killer party every year and her costumes seriously slay. We're talking everything from an apple to aliens, butterflies, Jessica Rabbit, she commits. I can't choose if my favorite was her Shrek costume of Princess Fiona or maybe that worm. Heidi starts planning these over the top looks way back in summer. Now that's dedication. Her parties are the highlight of every spooky season. Since we've talked about Heidi's career, now let's dig into her luxury lifestyle. To travel in style between her mansions, which we'll look at next, Heidi has a fleet of fabulous cars, including a Bentley, Cadillac Escalade, and a VW Beetle convertible. She also loves accessorizing with sparkling jewels. She's often seen rocking diamonds, but also has quite the collection of fancy and expensive watches. Some of these watches are by Panerai. We're talking diamond studded Pave bands, the works. Heidi reportedly rakes in up to $40 million a year from her various ventures, which is TV production, hosting, endorsements, and licensing deals. Now let's move on to her impressive real estate portfolio that rivals her own stunning persona. First up is Heidi's Mediterranean style mansion in Brentwood, LA, which she scooped up shortly before splitting from Seal. This $14.2 million estate was abandoned for two years before Heidi snatched it up in 2010. Even though it needed some renovations, one walk through this place and Heidi fell head over heels, despite not even wanting a fixer upper with four young kids. She dove right into a six month reno, restoring every inch of this place to its former glory. The team replaced all the windows, floors, appliances, you name it. Heidi even designed her dream closet and glam room here. And they built her a new master bath too with insane ocean views. By the time it was done, this 
eight bed, 10 bath Mediterranean palace was just as breathtaking as those views. Sprawling over 8.5 acres, this place has it all. We're talking courtyards, stables, a romantic rose garden, and even secret garden notes. And out back, there's a massive infinity pool and spa with the most beautiful sunsets. Right when you step in the double height foyer, it's pure luxury. There's even an imported antique dining room from a hotel in Paris. The library is goals with historical bookcases and cabinets, and the eight stunning bedrooms will make all your dreams come true. Even though this mansion is flawless, Heidi eventually sold it for $24 million. But while she was here, she totally vamped up this place. All right, next is Heidi's current daytime home, her Bel Air mega mansion. After saying goodbye to Brentwood, Heidi snatched up this nearly 12,000 square foot Georgian estate in Bel Air for just $10 million. Tucked away from all the hustle on nearly five acres, there's six bedrooms, nine baths, a grand foyer, lush living and dining room. It was built in 2000 by an Emmy award winning writer and producer. Upstairs, there are four more lavish bedrooms, including Heidi's suite with the dreamiest terrace views. But it's outside where this place really impresses. Heidi turned the massive yards into a wellness wonderland. We're talking pool, lounge area, dining patio, trampoline, pizza oven, and a playground. During lockdown, she even set up an art studio out here for her and the kids. Let's quickly look at the Big Apple next because Heidi owns a killer pad in New York City. In 2018, Heidi snatched up this nearly 5,000 square foot penthouse loft in Soho for about $5.1 million, and it was practically a blank canvas. This former artist's studio was stripped down to the studs with exposed wood beams when Heidi scooped it up. But with those soaring 12 foot ceilings and massive windows, this place has crazy potential for a total makeover. No word yet on how Heidi's revamped this space, but knowing her style, it's gonna be a showstopper. All right guys, that wraps up our tour of Heidi's homes. Before we go, answer this question for me. If you were invited to one of Heidi's infamous Halloween parties, what would you dress up as? Let me know in the comments below and and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'll see you all in another video. Bye.